people from everywhere in the world. I find it to be a very unique place. The biggest mosque in Germany. I actually ask you if you want to buy some drugs. It's crazy how long people party here. Because this is not Germany. Berlin is different. Berlin is not Germany. But what is it? My friend Laurent, who lives in Berlin, invited me to come for a weekend. He was throwing a typical Berlin party and promised to show me the real Berlin. The Berlin that you don't get to see as an outsider. The parties that go until the morning, the hidden food spots, the hip Muslim neighborhoods. I was about to see all the good sights. And also the ugly ones. Oh Berlin, you are so different than Munich where I am from. It's crazy, it's literally a different world. You see people just hanging out here on the benches, doing drugs very publicly. There's a place that everybody knows, like a, a square where they sell drugs, the police knows about it, but doesn't really do anything about it. The style is completely different. It's a bit more laid back, relaxed, I would say. Very different than the same. Very different. And there's a lot of Turks here. You see a lot of Turkish restaurants. There's a lot of influence from, from foreigners, which is cool. I don't hear any German. It's mostly foreign language. And I think that's why the city is so different than the rest of Germany, because you have these influences from all those different parts of the world. Now, Berlin definitely is not a beautiful city, but there's something else about this. Things like this that really make up its charm. I'm in this park here, and it's crazy. I mean, there's you know, kids walking by, families walking by, and then there's also these drug dealers who literally ask you if you want to buy some drugs, and it's just this mix of everything. Like, everybody knows what they're doing, but nobody really bats an eye, and it's crazy that they can just stand around here. And we are in Germany. It's just, yeah, it's weird in a way. It's very weird. Okay, I've been walking around for an hour in this area, and I've been asked for drugs like five or six times, and... That's crazy to me. That's really crazy. Just open on the street on a Thursday. Here people are a bit more whatever, open-minded, do your thing, you don't have to hide. Yes, this is one side of Berlin. But it would be outrageous to limit the city just to this. It's a big, vibrant city. A place which 3.7 million people call home. A place with so many beautiful facets. Turn around a corner and you come to like an amazing place like this and you turn around another one it's just completely different maybe a bit dirty it's like it's totally messing with the mind Now just as an example how diverse Berlin is, check out these people, like the mass of people that are here to protest for Iran. It's a very diverse city. Berlin seems to welcome everyone, but not neglecting its painful past. I think the rain is very fitting for for being here right now. Berlin is everything and nothing. About 800,000 foreigners live in this city and they brought their customs, their cultures, and it all resulted in this interesting mix. I moved to Berlin in 2014 um, and really it was just because of a love for, I find it to be a very unique place. Also there's a lot of art, it's also very affordable, it's also uh, pretty pretty diverse, you have a lot of different um, culture, you know, in, in Kreuzberg in that area, in, in Neukom where I live is a heavy Turkish in, in, in influence which I don't think you really find in a lot of other parts of uh, Germany. Okay, so apparently this is the biggest mosque in Germany and um, yeah, they even have minarets. You can't hear the prayer coming from there, that's not allowed, but let's check it out. Let's see how it is. 
Ah, oh, but it smells so good right around here. So that's the entrance to the to the mosque right there. There's some Turkish restaurants. Ah, oh, it smells so good. I love it. went into the mosque, wanted to speak with the guy, but he didn't really want to speak in front of the camera. And that's absolutely okay, right? But super interesting. He's from Lebanon. He's been here for 20 years. When you ask him if it's difficult, you know, they say, yeah, of course. And I think that um, the people who come here, they kind of stay in this area here among each other. And I love the mix of just the, the Muslim world and the Middle East together with the German. It's nice. I moved here five years ago. Um, because I found a gig in a startup and I wanted to work in startups and learn from founders but another big reason was for the nightlife and the original fun of the place. To lay the foundation for this evening's nightlife we had to do some alcoholic preparations. But parties started late in Berlin so I had time to go to one more place. The German Bundestag, built in 1894. This is where the German parliament sits today. But the signs of history are everywhere. On the walls you can find graffiti of Soviet soldiers from 1945 when they conquered Germany. It was left on purpose to be a daily reminder about the past. Berlin didn't create the rave culture, but definitely sublimed it. Um, when the wall fell, there was lots of real estate, lots of empty factories, hangars, whatever, even apartment buildings and people just rushed in and it was super cheap so they started making them spaces, squats, clubs, etc. What? No pictures from the crazy party? Hey, you know what they say. What happens in Berlin stays in Berlin. Joke aside, let me tell you how a party works in Berlin. People come quite late, around 11, 11.30 at night. It's super diverse. I think we were like 35 people, but only four Germans. The rest was like Iranian, Turkish, American. And it never stops. It goes on forever until the sun rises and, and further. It's 8.30. Um, I'm gonna try to sleep now. It's crazy how long people party here. It literally is crazy. It's 12. Good morning. <laughs> it's a beautiful day, but I'm tired. Three things you do after a party in Berlin. You clean up the place. You get a coffee to go from a hipster place. And you go to Tempelhof. Okay, we're in the middle of Berlin and how crazy is this? I'm standing in the middle of an old airport. There's the the runway. Yeah, Berlin is just so different. But apparently this is where people come and hang out, so. Yeah, let's let's chill after the party. Incredible. This is the Berlin Wall. This is literally the thing that divided East and West and I'm just walking by here. They did this cool thing where they, they kept the wall and they painted it and it's right here in the middle of Berlin. It's insane that just 30 years, the year when I was born, this thing came down and people could walk across and it's just this idea of not being able just to visit your friends on the other side. It's mind-blowing. I think we underestimate the luxury we have right now, you know, in Germany for example that this is not the case and that we can walk freely, we can say whatever we want. But let's go now to eat this staple food, the real food of Berlin. And you're from Turkey? Turkey, yeah. Where, where? Ankara. Ah, I love Ankara. Good city, good city. <laughs> How many years? Right. 30. 30? Oh wow, long, long time. Ah, Bitte. Tasche gehören. Okay, so no visit in Berlin would be complete. 
without this, without kebab. I'm in Kreuzberg right now where there's a lot of Turkish people. There's also the biggest mosque right over there. And yeah, you heard it. He's from, uh, he's from Ankara. I've been living here for 30 years. And this is so common here. Meat, bread, sauce. Oh, I love it. Mm, so good. It's so quick and easy. And they're always open throughout the night. So when people come home and it's cheap as well, it will cost between 350 and 450 I guess this was for euro you have this you know meat hanging on this stick and then it would just cut it down it's really nice and hot and they would heat up most of the time the bread tomatoes and just some salad sauce spicy a little bit I like that and there you go in about a minute you have your food mm. Mm. dirty crazy Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I love it.